G'day guys, it's John from theproductivegarden.com and I'm here with another update from the Balcony Garden. Now it's been a little while since I've done one, it's been about a month, uh, but not a lot has happened in the Balcony Garden, I haven't had a lot of time to do a lot in it, so not a whole lot has changed, but we'll go through what is happening in the Balcony Garden very quickly and talk about the things that, I'm, that I am going to be doing before my next update. So let's go and have a look. Alright, so the herbs are doing pretty well, the parsley has really taken off, we had a... Um, a fairly, I think last time I did one we were having a couple of cold days and then we had a real warm spell, like pretty much the day after that it got really warm and we've had some really good warm weather but um, about two or three days ago it went really cold so obviously the parsley liked the warm weather even though it wasn't terribly warm the oregano has actually taken off a bit, we've got these, this is like the summer growth here and this um, this lower growth is more like the, the cold, the growth that came off lately. Time's still doing all right. Rosemary's still doing pretty well. This coriander's doing all right and it'll start doing much better now that the colds come. The um, goji berry is still there. It just hasn't really seemed to, do, to have done well. Um, I was worried I might be, might be overwatering it so I sort of went to watering about half as much or every second time that I watered everything else and it, I don't know, it doesn't even really seem to have picked up so I don't know how that's going. This is the um, angle. You can see it's starting to yellow off with the cold weather. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll dig this up and the ginger as well. You can see the ginger there. I'll dig them up before next time and see how much they've developed, see how much I've got out of them. I don't think I will have gotten a real lot out of the ginger. It hasn't gotten real big. Um, the glangle, maybe I'll get something out of that. Um, this basil here. This hasn't really developed flowers, so it won't now. It's too cold. This one here has developed flowers, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get seeds off them. I'm just waiting for them to get pollinated and harden off. The blueberry has oh, just doing what it does in winter. It, it, it'll, it'll just harden off over winter and that sort of thing. So it won't do a, do a whole lot. The chilli plant is still going. Um, I've had a, people, had a few people say that I should try and keep the chilli plant going over winter. But, um, I'll have to give it a fair bit of protection. The cold here will really knock it about a fair bit. But, um, it's done alright through the couple of days. I can't see any frost damage on it yet. But we've had a few um, cold nights getting down around 3 or 4, which I know for some people that's um, Celsius. I know for some people that's not terribly cold. That's their, their warm winter days where they have snow. <coughs> but um, yeah, we're get, starting to get some pretty cold nights. So this, um, I, I think I said in the last update these were Brussels sprouts. I'm not exactly sure whether they were Brussels sprouts or not. And the, the place I got them from, they're a bit iffy with what they call things sometimes. So they're a brassica. Let's, let's just say that. So we've got that one there. This one here has been eaten a bit. I've been trying to find the horrible caterpillars on there that are eating them. But I just can't find them. And I haven't been finding any... Um, droppings either so I'm not entirely um, just looking in here in this leaf there's something in there yeah I'm not entirely sure it is a caterpillar um, this basil here has also got flowers on it so like I said I'm waiting for those flowers to to get pollinated and hopefully give us some seed now, I'm not sure how they'll go actually because it is getting fairly cold and it might not actually give them a chance to actually form some seeds, so it might just get too cold. I know that this thing for sure, it, it won't it won't bud any flowers while it's cold. I might be able to keep it going, but it definitely won't give me any more chilies until next spring if I do keep it going. <clears throat> the lime tree is actually looking a little bit yellow. I'm, I'm actually thinking that it's not really liking it in the pot. It has, has actually been in the pot for about 18 months, so it's getting close to being repotted anyway. So I'm sort of thinking that I might put that in the ground somewhere give it somewhere where it's going to be much more happy and maybe see if I can get a, a dwarf lime because this isn't a dwarf lime, it's just a normal lime. If I get something grafted onto a dwarf rootstock I'm guessing it will do much, much better than what this one does. It's um, never really done all that well in the pot. Okay, the asparagus is starting to yellow off. Okay, so it'll yellow off, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant this asparagus, transfer it from here into this much bigger pot where the cucumber's been. Okay, and of course with the cold, that's definitely had its last legs. 
this was I believe this was a broccoli and it's just been hammered by something that keeps eating it so there's again there's no caterpillars on it I think it might be snails so I think I'm just gonna have to go into these pots and look under the rims and see if I can find any snails at all but um that one just seems to be the target of snails it's always good to have one target plant that way all the rest don't get eaten and um this red cabbage is doing pretty well it's coming along it's coming along all right actually it's done the done the best because they're all about the same size um that one's not too bad but that red cabbage has definitely come on really well <coughs> carrots are still going all right they're going pretty well these um lettuce have gone to flower so i'll get rid of them and i'll put something else in there this um these chives are doing all right and it actually looked like something had trodden on them or something then or laid on them or something maybe it's a stupid cat if i see it laying on them i'll definitely have to give it a boot anyway and this is um broccoli as well i think so i think this one and the one that's being eaten the broccoli the other two green ones were brussels sprouts and then there's a red cabbage and his coriander is doing pretty well also so yeah that's not doing too bad it's been eaten a little bit and um, again, I haven't. Uh, well, have I? Just found a little caterpillar, maybe. No, I haven't found any caterpillars on there yet. Anyway, I'll just keep an eye on these things. I usually, if they're just tiny little caterpillars, I usually just squash them. If they're of any reasonable size, I pick them off and feed them to the chooks. They love them. And the strawberries, well. I think the warm weather's stimulated a bit of flowering. I mean, I'm probably better off. I'll just pick these fruit off now anyway and be done with them because they're not going to go anywhere. It's way too cold now. They're just not going to happen. So I'm just going to pick them off and let the plant put some energy into getting through winter. So um, yeah, I should see that much better. Hopefully, hopefully these strawberries do a whole lot better next summer than what they did this summer. Um, I think we might get one more season out of them and um, see how they go. But I mean, I've used these strawberry pots before and I've never had a, a whole lot of luck with them. I, I've known other people who've used them before and they've gotten great amounts of strawberries out of them. So I know it's possible. Um, I've just got to find a knack of how to do it. All right, so that's what's happening in the balcony uh, so far at the moment. There's, like I said, there's not a lot of happening at all. Um, like I said, I'm going to get that asparagus and repot it into that bigger pot that the cucumbers in. Um, I'll have to try and rig up some sort of greenhouse type arrangement for that uh, chili plant. Um, yeah, the lime. I'll have to decide what I'm going to do with that. Whether I put it in the ground somewhere. I really don't think it's. I think it's going to do much better in the ground. So I, I, I mean. I think for a balcony situation you are better off trying to find dwarf plant plants because they will do better in a pot. So try and find if you're going to get fruit trees, get ones that are on a, a rootstock that's specific to being dwarfed or going to do better in pots and that sort of thing. You'll get, you'll get much better results. Um, yeah, so just basically clean up, get, I'll get rid of those lettuce and that sort of thing and put something else in there. And yeah, I'll just see what else inspires me until next time. Alright, anyway, that's it from now, and until next time, happy to ride good gardening. Bye.